Today, we're looking at five tips to improve your hitting in MLB The Show 17. This video is based upon an article written by our own Ben Vollmer on the OS front page. You should check that out. The link is in the comments. Let's get to the tips. Tip number one, find your interface. No, seriously, this is the most important decision you're going to face. Pick an interface which jives with what you can do. Some people just can't handle pure analog. <clears throat> Anyways, if timing or directional is your thing, there's no shame in that. Pick what you can handle. Tip number two, find your difficulty. Okay, okay, this one does seem obvious, but if you are not that great at the game, you probably shouldn't be playing on the hardest difficulty. I know it's rocket science, but some people make this mistake. Trust me, the first two tips here are common sense, but they are things everyone overlooks at different times. It's not a flattering look to be playing on the hardest difficulties and failing to score runs consistently. I try to find a difficulty where I'm hitting at about the league average. That does mean you're going to have really good games and some really bad games, just in case you were wondering. Tip number three, work the count. Bella, quit swinging at everything. No, this is the biggest and most difficult mountain to climb in MLB The Show, but you have to wear pitchers down by working the count. Those of us who play with quick counts on because we literally don't have much time are a blessed bunch because a lot of this is already done for us. And if you absolutely cannot work the count, if you are swinging at everything, quick counts may just work for you to achieve this and help you with some plate discipline. But seriously, you have to learn to take pitches. You might start slow and take the first pitch of every at bat. Before you know it, you may be an on-base percentage king or queen. Tip number four, wait for your pitch. If you can't hit change-ups, quit trying to hit them. If you have guess pitch on, guess the pitch you are looking for, and if it's the right one, seriously, go for it. Unless it's out of the zone, that is. You need to have a good eye, of course. I tend to approach at-bats by looking for a specific pitch or a specific location until I get down to two strikes. Then I tend to protect the plate with the contact swing, but your mileage may vary. But waiting on your pitch can mean you can work the count a bit more too. Hey, we're getting back to tip three, and that'll wear down an opposing pitcher. When you're facing someone like Clayton Kershaw, you don't want to keep boosting his confidence and keeping his pitch count low, especially as you get deep in the games because you're facing Kershaw into the ninth inning. That's not a recipe for success. Always work to get the starter off the mound as quickly as possible, always. Tip number five, don't abuse the power swing. Seriously, you need to stop, stop it. Stop it now, no, bad. This used to be me once upon a time, but only for a brief time. Because you see, there's a time for everything. And the time to use a power swing is when you are ahead in the count. At that time, you will probably get a pitch you can drive. And when that time comes, the power swing can be used. But the time to use a power swing is not when you are down in the count, nor is it the time to use it at the beginning of an at-bat, typically. So remember, this time, the time to use the power swing is at a time when it's your time as the hitter. In other words, just quit using the power swing every time you take a swing at a ball. There's five quick hitting tips for MLB The Show 17. Be sure to share your own in the comments, either on this video or on the parent article at Operation Sports. Also, be sure to subscribe to us. Seriously, click the button, do it now, We'll love you forever. Until next time.